today we are going to discuss about the topic logic gates so this topic includes in the first semester of bca program so the content of this units are different types of gates that is not nor and then xor xnor nand etc and then we will learn about the conversion of logic gates so first what is logic gates so logic gates are the digital circuits or known as logic circuits as they can be analyzed using boolean algebra it consists of one or more than one input signals and only one output signal logic gates are operated with binary numbers that is 0 and 1 now any boolean functions can be represented in the form of gates and gates can be represented in three ways that is graphical symbols algebraic notation and truth table so now we going to discuss about the logic gates with their graphical symbols algebraic notation and their truth table so first we say the not gate so not gate it is also known as inverter and the symbol of the not gate is represented as so here in the not gate there is only one input and one output and the output is given as complement of input that means the truth table of the not gate is a is the input and y is the output and a value can be 0 and 1 and the complement is 1 and 0 so this is the truth table of the not gate that means when the input is 0 output is 1 and when the output is 1 the input will be sorry when the input is 1 output will be 0 just complement of the input signal next we will discuss the or gate the symbol the circuit of the or gate is represented as this and here a and b are the inputs and y is the output so or gate has two inputs or more inputs we can give three four like this and on but only one output signal which is equal to the or sum of all the inputs the graphical symbol is this and output can be represented as a plus b so the truth table of or gate is 0 0 the combinations will when a is 0 b is 0 output is 0 0 1 1 0 then 1 1 so the output is represent as a plus b so when 0 plus 0 it's 0 then 0 plus 1 it is 1 1 plus 0 1 and then 1 plus 1 1 so from this truth table we can say that when any of the input is 1 then output will be 1 now the or gate is also represented with this circuit here we connected two switch connected in the parallel a and b and a bulb is connected and here we have given a battery now when both the inputs are zero that means both the switches are open then no current will flow and then the bulb will not glow then when any of the input is 1 that means uh, suppose a is closed and b is open then current will flow through the switch a that then the bulb will glow that means it will high so this logic uh, truth table can be represented with this circuit then when both the inputs are 1 that means both the a and b switch are close then current will flow and the bulb will glow so the logic gates of or gate is represented by this circuit now next we discuss the and gate this is the circuit of the and gate here uh, in the and gate 
and gate has a two or more inputs and only one output and which is equal to the end product of all the inputs that is here two inputs are applied so y is the product of the two inputs that is a and b and the truth table of AND gate is when both the inputs are zero the output is zero then zero one output is zero one zero output is zero then one one output is one so from the truth table it is clear that if any of the inputs are, is zero then output will be zero because the product uh, output is equal to the product of the all the inputs and when both the inputs are high that is one then we will get the output is high or one and this truth table if we represent in a circuit in this circuit we connected two switches a and b in series combination so when any of the input is zero that means if any of the switch is open either a or b then no current will flow through this bulb and it will not blow and if both the switches are closed that means both are closed that means uh, the current will flow through the switches and the bulb will blow so the truth table of n gate is represented by this circuit that is inputs a and b connected in series so i think it is clear now next we will go to the nor gate now we will see the nor gate so nor gate means not or it has two or more inputs and only one output which is the complement of the or sum of the two or more inputs now this is the symbol for the nor gate and the output is represented as x a plus b and complement of the sum of the two inputs and the truth table of nor gate that is not or uh, because uh, we have given a circle here so it, it shows the NOR gate in the NOR gate what we have used this is NOR gate that is complement of the input so we uh, symbolize as a small circle so similarly if we put a small circle in the output of the OR gate we get the NOR gate now this is a truth table here when both the inputs are 0 0 in the or gate what we get we get the when both the inputs are zero we get zero but in the nor gate we get it is one and when zero one it is zero one zero zero then one one zero just complement of the or gate now we uh, from the truth table it shows that when both the inputs are zero that is low then the output is high that one in the nor gate when both the input is zero output is high and if any of the input is high then output is low that is zero then next we see the NAND gate so NAND gate is a not end not end that means in the end gate we have to put a not gate so this is the symbol of end gate and if we give a small circle here then we get the NAND gate and NAND gate is the complement of the AND gate output so A and B this is the output of the AND gate and if we give bar here then we get the complement of the AND gate and the truth table of NAND gate is here it is 1, 1, 1 then 0 in AND gate what we have seen when any of the input is zero the output is zero but in the NAND gate as it is the complement of the AND gate so if any of the input is zero the output is one that is high and when both the input is high that is one one we get the output as zero so this is the truth table of the NAND gate now uh, let us see one example uh, a truth table which is uh, I will draw a circuit here and the truth table is used to show the behavior of the logic gates. So next we see the XOR gate which is called the exclusive OR gate or it can represent as XOR gate. It is also called XOR gate and the symbol is 
So this is the symbol of exclusive OR gate. So here what happened in the truth table and output is represented as A plus exclusive OR then B. And the truth table is shown as this if 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, then 1, 1. When both the inputs are 0, in the exclusive OR gate, we'll get 0. And this output is also written as A bar B plus A B bar so this represents bar means it is a complement of A. So complement of A into B plus A complement of B. And the truth table is 0, 1, it is 1, 1, 0, it is 1, 1, 1, it is 0. So from this truth table it is clear that when both the inputs are same, either 0 or 1, then the output will be 0. That is, uh, output is low. And when, if any of the input is high, then output is high. So, this is the truth table. And uh, this uh, XOR gate output is also represented with the logic uh, circuits. Here, what we have given here, A is the input and which is uh, applied using a NOT gate to the AND gate. Two AND gates are there and B is applied. So output will be A complement B. Then here again B is applied using a NOT gate to this AND gate. Then uh, A is directly applied. So output of this AND gate is A B bar. And uh, in the output we have used a OR gate. That means it sums both the inputs. So at the Y is equal to this. A bar B plus A B bar. Now we, if we uh, represent the truth table of this circuit, it will be, so let me write here A B A bar B bar A bar B A B bar then we have add this sum A bar B plus A B bar. So, uh, first A, B is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, then 1, 1. So, when A is 0, A bar will be 1. A is 0, A bar is 1. Here, 1. So, A bar is 0, 1, A bar is 0. Next, B bar. So, B is 0. So, B bar will be 1. Here, 1. So, it will be 0, 1, 0. So this is the value of B bar. Now let us see the A bar B. So here A bar is this input and B is this one. So product 1 into 0 it's 0 then 1 into 1 is 1 0 into 0 it's 0 then uh, 0 1 that comes 0. Next, A, B bar. That is A, B bar. A, then uh, B bar. So, we have to consider this and this. So, 0, 1, it goes 0. 0, 0, it comes 0. Then 1, 1, it goes 1. Then here, 1, 0, it goes 0. Now, we have, we have to add these two uh, figures that is a bar b plus a b bar so 0 plus 0 it is 0 1 plus 0 it is 1 0 plus 1 it is 1 and at the last 0 plus 0 it's a 0 so it is similar to the XOR uh, truth table of the XOR gate so now we have seen this uh, 0 1 1 0 so this output value is similar to the XOR gate output so what we have seen the XOR gate which is represented with this symbol and it has two inputs and uh, two or more inputs and one output and it is symbolized as this A plus 
circle then b and uh, its output is represented as a bar b plus a b bar and this uh, formula is again explained with this truth table and from this diagram so this uh, this diagram is equal to this symbol xor so this xor gate is also explained with the logic gate circuit this one so here two n gate one or gate and two not gates are used and from the truth table it is same uh, we have explained from this truth table it is seen that the output of this gate is equal to this gate so i think it is clear now so next gate is the exclusive nor gate so here right in the nor exclusive nor gate uh, in the xor gate if we put a circle here we will get the exclusive nor gate or we can write x nor gate so here a and b is the input of the uh, exclusive nor gate and the output is represented is the complement of the exclusive or gate so uh, here if uh, input is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and the output is when both the inputs is same it is complement output is complement of the x or gate so from this truth table it is clear that when both the inputs are same then output is high means 0 0 output is 1 and 1 1 output is 1 and if the inputs are different that is if one is high one is low then we get zero output this complement of the x or gate and uh, output is represented as a b plus a bar b bar so this is the output expression of the x nor gate so now uh, i am again repeating all the gates so first we have discussed the not gate that is a uh, symbol of not gate then a is a bar so next gate we have uh, seen the or gate so or gate symbol is this a b and y and y is equal to sum of the inputs of the or gate so the third gate we have discussed is the and gate So this is the end gate a b y and y equal to a dot b that means product of the inputs then the fourth gate we have discussed nor gate so in the nor gate or gate if we put a not gate then we will get a nor gate so here y is equal to a plus b bar so this is the nor gate first is not gate this one is or gate here it is and gate this one is the nor gate next we have seen the nand gate if in the AND gate, we put a NOT gate, then we will get the AND gate. So AND gate output is A, B, bar. So this gate is NAND gate. And finally, we have seen the XOR gate. XOR gate is symbolized as this, like this graphical symbol. So y is equal to a plus b. So this is a symbol of XOR gate. And the last gate we have discussed the XNOR gate. That is XNOR gate. And it is represented as So if we put a NOT gate in the output of the XOR gate, we get the XNOR gate. So how many gates we have learned? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. So these 7 gates we have discussed today.
next another topic we will discuss now that is the conversion of the logic gates so now the next topic is conversion of logic gates so uh, in the a logic gate its input and output will have one of two possible voltage levels that is suppose v1 or v2 suppose we assume that v2 is greater than v1 and it refer to this two voltage levels as high and low so which is greater we have represented as high and other is low now let us take an example of two input and one output gate and in order to determine the function of this gate we must assign the logic values of the uh, logic values of the gate to our voltage levels suppose uh, we get one positive logic so in the positive logic the low is represented as 0 and high is represented as 1 and uh, another one is negative logic in negative logic the low is represented as 1 and high is represented as 0 now we uh, see in the voltage level that is low then high so it is 0 and 1 so it is a positive logic so high voltage that is 5 uh, 4.5 greater than or equal to 4.5 volt we consider as a logic high that is logic 1 so it is a positive logic and in case of negative logic the high is represented as low and this one is negative logic so here the uh, low is represented as 1 and high is represented as 0 so this means uh, the uh, 0 means the high voltage and 1 means the low voltage so this is the difference between positive logic and negative logic the representation of high and low is different so the term positive and negative are somewhat misleading since both the signals or voltage values may be positive or both may be negative it is not the signal polarity that determines the type of logic but rather the assignment of logic values according to the relative amplitudes of the signals so now the rules for converting a positive logic to corresponding negative logic the first is to change n graphic symbols to or or vice versa and then next is to change NAND graphic symbols to NOR or vice versa and then next is to add circle to the input and the output points where there are no circles and to remove circles at the input and output points whenever there is a circle so dear learners today we have discussed the logic gate topics where we have discussed different types of logic gates that is not or nand nor nand xor xnor and at the last we discussed the uh, conversion of logic gates Thank you.